Yo, what's up? This is going to be a quick tutorial about how to get your controller working for Warzone, for GTA, RP, GTA, whatever game it is. If you can't get your controller working, if you got like a PlayStation 5 controller, Xbox controller, whatever it is that you can't get working, this is going to be the fix. So first things first, what you want to do is download DS4 windows the ds4 windows you want to click on this well you can click on this one right here the downloads you want to click this and download it i just go ahead i ain't going to install it though but i already downloaded it so boom when it when you uh download it you're going to double click it so it'll open I already man, i'm gonna still use it i already got it but i'm gonna still open it so when you're going to open a folder you're going to look for this right here the ds4windows.exe that's the app file double click that for it to open I'm going to close these out wide open so boom first thing it's going to say is no controller detected let me mine's popping up because I got it connected but oh yeah that's another thing you have to use it uh, for the most part I like to use it with the uh, USB plug in because it make it work like flawlessly but this is what we're going to do. You're going to plug your, comp your uh, computer. To, you're going to plug your controller to the computer. That's the first thing you're going to do. But it'll look like this for y'all. It's going to say no controller detected. So even if you plug your controller to the computer, it might still say this because that's the problem I had. It still kept saying this. And it's one step that we was missing. What you want to do is go to the settings tab and click device options right here. When you click device options, if you got a dual sense, which is a PlayStation controller, you're going to check this box. Most likely, you don't have this box checked. That's why your controller wasn't ever working. Or if you got like the Switch controller, Joy Con, blah, 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 blah. But I got the dual sense. So you're going to check that box. You can exit out and then hit start. Matter of fact, go back to controllers and then hit start. When you hit start, after a couple seconds, boom, controller going to pop up. Your shit going to be working. That's it. That's all for the tutorial. And it should be working. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you need help, leave a comment. I try to figure it out as best as I can. Thanks for watching.